Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about bicycle rider back playing cards. Now, bicycle rider backs are my favorite playing card for sure. Um, when it comes to some of these standard decks that are manufactured a lot. So we're going to start off uh, with the difference between 808 and 807. The standards here, which you can find at Walmart, uh, pharmacies, gas stations, these are 808. And this is the new tuck box that they've gone to since they've moved to the Erlanger, Kentucky manufacturing facility. They used to be in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. But since they moved over, they went to this new style of box. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but what is the difference between 808 and 807? Well, uh, the 808 uh, is just saying that these are the rider back playing cards. And specifically, the 807s are these here. And what is the difference? Well, the difference is that they are the original box, right? So if we were to compare these to the actual original box, which I have one here, this is blue seal and black seal. The blue seal indicates that it was manufactured before 2007 at the Cincinnati, Ohio manufacturing facility. And this one here was manufactured uh, in Erlanger, Kentucky. Let's see if I can get that in frame here. Let's see if I can just focus. And there we are. This one was in Erlanger, Kentucky. And so there's not much of a difference between these two. Um, however, uh, there is somewhat of a difference between the 807s and the 808s, uh, the standards. Um, these tend to have a little bit of a rougher edge. Um, and I noticed that uh, they don't farrow the same, which means that they're cut differently. If I Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, if they are traditionally cut, uh, they are cut faces uh, down or faces up. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but there's a difference between traditionally cut and uh, the way they're cut now. And I believe these are traditionally cut. Uh, which makes these one of my favorite go-tos. Not only that, but there's a lot of things you can do with that back design there. Um, so price-wise, these will cost about $350. These are about $455, depending. And uh, these, these are pretty great. They last a long time. I actually have a deck here I'm going to show you uh, shortly so you can get a uh, an, ex an example of a long-lasting 807 deck. Um, here they are, and they are in blue. You can tell these I've been beaten up and I still have the plastic on it because, uh, oh wait, these are brand new. Hold on. Never mind. This is the one that's been beaten up. You can tell I've had these puppies for a long time. They've been opened up from the bottom, but the playing cards themselves are in a uh, fairly great condition. If you see that they still fan perfectly, they still farrow perfectly. And I am not entirely sure why that is, why this is uh, in such good condition compared to most other decks that do not last as long, especially the standard. For some reason, those seem to uh, warp out and not last um, as long as some of these other decks that are here. And I'm not sure why that is, um, to be honest with you. I know that there is definitely some reason for it. And I think it might be that finish, that cut. You see, these are actually pretty smooth here pretty smooth here on the edges and I'm not sure um, why that is like I said this is an old deck um, I think I've had this one open for about a year or so now and they are still running like brand new so just uh, keep that in mind um, if you're interested in purchasing 807 decks I uh, got a shameless plug here for you my uh, eBay store uh, I sell them by the brick so uh, a brick of 12 playing cards is about 60 bucks. Um, if you message me and tell me that you've subscribed, I'll lower that price. Also, 10% of the purchases go to St. Jude. Uh, so know that you will be uh, donating to a good organization if you purchase with me. So uh, shameless plug over, let's move on to uh, the Elite Edition of the Rider Back Playing Cards. Now, what's up with the Elite Edition? This is manufactured um, with, uh, Penguin Magic, and, uh, Penguin Magic, if you don't know, they make awesome playing cards, these are also thin crushed, um, which 
I think makes a very big difference um, in the quality of the playing cards. Not sure if the 807s are or not, but these definitely last longer than these for some reason. And I'm not entirely sure as to why that is. Now, this one comes with a blank card and a double backer, which is very important for your money's worth. If you purchase a brick of these, you can get them for $60, and that's $5 a deck. About the same price as these here, so uh, keep that in mind. Um, what These are the newer manufacturing, and these are the older manufacturing. These here are the uh, Richard Turner uh, gold seals, right? And this one's actually signed, so I'm not opening that puppy there. Um, but this one here, uh, traditionally cut for the professional, these are the gold seals, or the gold standards, I believe they're called. Um, so these are very comparable to the Elite Edition. Um, I believe these are also um, thin crush stock, uh, which is almost the exact same thing as these in terms of feel. Um, there's slight differences, I think, in printing, um, but in feel, they feel exactly the same. These are a, uh, a great choice. Now, um, I have here the original Blue Seals, right? These are pre-2007, manufactured in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, as you see here, we've got the uh, 808 here at the bottom. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There we are. You got the 808 at the bottom, and uh, these are also 808 at the bottom. Now, also the, the standards will have that 808 variant, and I don't know if I explained this already or not, but uh, there's the 808 there at the bottom. And these don't have a uh, barcode at all, so there's no 808 there for the elites. But this one here is the 807s. Like I said, there's not much of a difference, except that they are a new stock and they are printed in Erlanger. And 807 is just representing, like I said, the box. Now, I told you I had um, two more examples. Um, the other example that I like to bring into play uh, is going to be the signature edition. This is an awesome, awesome deck, which I also have a... Uh, review on on my channel these do not have 807s funny enough but they are uh printed right here saying that they're thin crushed this is an awesome awesome deck to have um they only come in black which uh i have no problem with that that's uh kind of an awesome quality of them right um i think the back design is best shown when it's in black uh it just pops with the eye a little bit more and something I need to bring uh, bring up is uh, when they when you can tell if if they've been um, the way that they've been cut if they've been traditionally cut like these uh, they farrow nicely in both directions. Let me give you an example of that. Here's face down direction, beautiful farrow, and let's do a face up farrow and see if there's any bit of a struggle, and there is not very smooth in both directions and that's one way that you can tell so this is also an excellent choice they are a bit more pricey and i actually didn't mention prices here these are going to be uh pretty expensive about 20 dollars. they're getting harder and harder to find these you can get anywhere between uh if you're lucky five dollars uh, ten dollars or maybe fifteen dollars, uh, depending. Um, they're hard to find. Uh, then you have these, which I believe I mentioned, uh, you can get for five dollars, but they're usually ten bucks. So buy that brick and you'll save yourself some money. These are about four fifty to five dollars. They, uh, this is actually my go-to deck. Um, in terms of hey, instead of buying these, I'm not gonna buy those unless i need that box for a special gimmick or something like that uh these are 350 350 to four dollars i wouldn't pay more than four dollars for these puppies because uh that's just crazy um and one last deck i'd like to mention that is ex not exactly a regular uh rider back um but i think this company um needs to be mentioned because they have excellent quality playing cards and that is going to be magic makers and their reverse back 
Um, these cards are awesome. Let me tell you, they look awesome. They ferrule awesome. They feel awesome. You can do all your sleight of hand work with them quite easily. They ferrule nicely up, down, doesn't matter. These puppies will take it. Um, now, the only thing is that uh, you might notice a bit of chipping, as you can kind of see here. Let me see if I can get that focused in there. You can see a little bit of a chipping uh, towards the top of the cards and towards the bottom. You can see I farrowed these a lot, um, which kind of gives them uh, a little bit of worn appearance there towards the edge. If you start looking, let's see if we can get some of them aren't so bad. Some of them are a little bit worse. Um, which these have been thoroughly used. Um, but the feel of them, they feel great. They feel awesome. This is a deck that you can rely on to perform magic tricks. And they're very bright and very vibrant. And they have them in multiple colors. You can get them in all colors of the rainbow, I believe. Uh, black, yellow, purple, you name it. Um, so... This is an excellent addition, and I believe that this finish is slightly different. These are also manufactured in Erlanger, Kentucky. Um, but I think this is the magic finish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, doesn't say it here on the box. But this is air cushion finish, um, but it's also the uh, magic finish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these cards are sweet. So uh, this is just a little bonus. If you like the Rider Back playing cards, you can get them in reverse from Magic Makers. And they're awesome. So uh, that is pretty much my talk here on the differences between all of these cards. And there's uh, lots of different variations, ones that I'm not even bringing up at this time. Um, but like I said, these two are the most comparable. The only difference is uh, new new manufacturing facility, old manufacturing facility. These might not be on the, um, might not be able to find these pretty soon. Uh, they are getting more, more difficult to find the gold standards here. And you can know they're the gold standards by that gold sticker up there. And they usually have the sticker here that says traditionally cut for the professional. Um, and if you don't know who Richard Turner is, uh, look them up. Please. He is awesome. He is uh, the cheat, the professional, let me tell you. Um, once again, I'm going to mention that you can get these at uh, my eBay store. And take a look there. I've got a couple other things for sale, different playing cards. I have the black standard playing cards that are just like these, except they are this version. And for some reason, they feel better than the red ones. And I'm not exactly sure why that is, but here they are the black standards. I actually have an entire brick for sale and there's only one brick left. So if you want them, come grab them. All right. Now that's, uh, just about it for this video. Um, if you could please, uh, like comment, share and subscribe and, uh, let me know what you think. Is there anything that I missed? Anything that I should have mentioned on this video? Any other variants that you particularly love, um, that I didn't mention on this video? If so, let me know your thoughts and uh, maybe I'll make a video about it. Thanks. Bye.